You must be the Antiquarian Circle's most recent addition, eh? Greetings. Sorry for the mess. I'll tidy up down here, you know, eventually. But I digress. Verita wants me to teach you to use the Antiquarian's eye, yes? Wow, really? That's uncharacteristically gracious of her. Huh. Well, anyway, let's get started. It all begins with concentration. The eye wants to show you what you seek. So, clear your thoughts, and conjure up a picture of the relic in your mind. The exciting part. Gaze into the eye and focus on the facets in the glass. Take a breath and try to unify the symbols into a single pattern. Eventually, you'll stop looking at the lens and start looking through it. Why don't we just give it a try? Well done. Now fix your eyes on the center and the corners of the lens. Then turn your focus inward toward the facets in the glass. Concentrate, and the facets should merge. Unifying the lens into a single pattern will perfectly attune the eye. But you only need to reach the foci to gain a rough idea of the object's location. If you lose your focus, just try again. I'll meet you in the courtyard. Looks like this is the spot. Time to excavate the antiquity. Remember to move cautiously. Use the right tool for the right level of excavation, and don't rush yourself. Even careful digging can result in an unsteady dig site, so be mindful of its stability. Remember to move cautiously. Use the right tool for the right level of excavation, and don't rush yourself. Even careful digging can result in an unsteady dig site, so be mindful of its stability. Remember to move cautiously. Use the right tool for the right level of excavation, and don't rush yourself. Even careful digging can result in an unsteady dig site, 
so be mindful of its stability. Time to get your hands dirty. The eye can show you where to find an antiquity, but digging it up is more of a do it. Remember to move cautiously. Use the right tool for the right level of excavation, and don't rush yourself. Even careful digging can result in an unsteady dig site, so be mindful of its stability. There you have it. You're a proper antiquarian now. Seems you have quite a knack for it, too. Just keep practicing with the antiquarian's eye and master those digging techniques. I'm confident you'll be recovering priceless relics in no time. I'd report back to Verida and let her know you successfully extracted your first... antiquity. Don't expect too much in the way of praise, but trust me, she'll be ecstatic. Once you've checked in, start looking for relics. No time like the present, eh? Of course. We use the antiquarian's eye to scry for antiquities hidden all over Tamriel. Anytime you want to search for one of these treasures, just open your antiquities codex and select the object you'd like to find. Then the fun begins. You'll notice symbols swimming in the facets of the eye's lens. Concentrate, and try to merge as many of the symbols as possible. If you reach the eye's foci, you'll get a glimpse of the antiquities' possible resting places. Indeed. If you achieve perfect focus, you might narrow it down to a single dig site. If you don't reach all of the eye's foci, you'll wind up with several possible locations. Luckily, you can always try again. It's all a matter of practice. Certainly, you should have a small array of tools at your disposal. Some for removing large helpings of dirt, and others for more precise excavation. That's the trick, isn't it? You'll notice subtle differences in the composition of the soil. To the layman, these differences of color and texture might appear random, but with practice, you'll begin to notice patterns. Well, maybe not patterns in the formal sense, but shapes that align with the object you're excavating. These shapes can guide your efforts. Just remember to be careful. These are priceless antiquities we're digging up, not turnips. You might damage the antiquity, or collapse the dig site entirely. Reburying everything you tried to recover. It happens to all of us eventually. The best we can do is stay cautious. And also sober. Some of the locals struggle with that. Welcome back, Antiquarian. I trust your time with Gabrielle was illuminating? Excellent. I had a good feeling about you, and as usual, I was right. From now on, consider yourself free to pursue any antiquities that interest you. We will catalog your findings for study, and together we will uncover the mysteries of this world. You have a great deal of work to do, Antiquarian. Wouldn't you agree? We're all quite busy, truth be told. But I suppose I can make more time for our most promising initiates.
Is there something I can help you with? That is entirely up to you. What cultures spark your curiosity? What region of Tamriel do you yearn to visit? Or, if it's simple wealth you're after, what item might fetch a prize on the second-hand market? The choice is yours. Well, your antiquities codex contains only those antiquities we're currently aware of. If you want to make a unique discovery of your own, you'll need to find a lead. Something that gives you a place to start. Practically anywhere, believe it or not. Tucked away in chests, in the pockets of bandits, stashed in musty ruins. Just explore Tamriel as any adventurer would, and you're bound to find some. The potential applications of our discoveries are endless. You might find items worthy of display in your home, or discover a long-forgotten technique for body ornamentation. You might even recover jewelry or armor imbued with arcane power. Oh, I couldn't possibly choose. In any case, my interest in these objects has less to do with their uses and more to do with their historical value. Amalian swore she found parts of a mechanical mount, but that sounds a bit outlandish to me. 